Um, bought my sextant down at West Marine down here and uh, came down to Fremont dock area going to look for a captain of the boat or someone who might know how to use this. I don't know how any, anything about how to use it yet, so let's look around. Um, well, actually, look, there's there's someone right here. He might know how to he might know how to how to work this. Excuse me. Arr! Uh, you little salty sea limey, what can I do for you? Well, I just bought this sextant down at down at West Marine here. I was wondering if you knew anything about how to how to use it. I've never seen one of those before, you little sea biscuit. You little salty sea anemone. You never seen one of these at all. How how do you do how do you navigate? You you are a are you working on this boat here? Arr, I am the captain. Arr. Well, okay, well then how how do you navigate? Ah. Real easy. I have me one of these computerized global positioning system. All right, it fits in your back pocket there. Right it? in my back pocket, and it'll tell me exactly where I am. Uh, Anywhere in the world, you little sea sucker. Hey, um, well, okay, how do, you, how do you use that? Easy, you just push this button right here, uh -huh. and you see here it tells us we're at 122.638974 degrees west. Really? And 47.68. Four three nine two five seven degrees north latitude. That is, son. I don't suppose I'll ever be able to get that accurate with one of these, will I? I don't know. I've never seen one of those before. But I'm sure if you take that down to Denny's, they'd serve up a grand slam breakfast on it. Yeah, they probably would. They probably put some gravy on there. Oh yeah, gravy, biscuits and gravy, sausage and eggs, and a nice thick black cup of coffee. They would. Uh, Arr! You, you you can't help me out with with the sexes and you really don't know. Never seen one before. Anybody that's got one, do you, around here, or that has had one, or knows that? Oh, uh, no, no. Uh, but I guess I heard that my great-grandfather's cousin one time used one. Really? He, Back before they had these computers. He's not on the boat here, is he? Oh, no. Oh, no. That was a long time ago, son. Uh, okay. So you, you won't be able to help me out? Uh, <laughs> with it. not with that. Okay. But I'm sure I could help you out in other ways. Uh, I think, uh, you betcha. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, hey, you hey, betcha. I wanna, I Anytime, wanna. you little salty sea thing, you. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. All right. Thanks. Uh, sure. Well, we didn't get much out of him, but uh, maybe check out a few books from the library or, or buy a book and see how that, that goes. Well, I did my reading, and I found out that uh, using the section isn't as hard as I thought. All you got to do is make sure that this site looks at the horizon and then you bring the image of the sun, which is reflected through these two mirrors, down to that horizon by using the index arm. So right now, the sun's a bit low and uh, in fact, it's about eight degrees off the horizon. And I also found out that if you sit real low to the water, maybe a foot or two off the water, the horizon's only about a mile out. Whereas out in the ocean, if you're standing on the deck of a ship, it's probably, you know, a good 10 miles out. So this low viewing point lets me get a horizon in Puget Sound, which is only maybe three or four miles across. I'll show you what I mean. Up here, you can see the shore on the other side. But if you get down real low, all you can see is the horizon. Now, when I was out on Puget Sound, I was measuring an angle. And that angle was the, the angle between the horizon and the lower lobe of the sun. And uh, it happened to be 8 degrees, 38 minutes. And uh, here we're going to take a, a bigger picture, a, bigger, a better look at the big picture of what's going on here. Now, Fremont is my assumed position here. Even though I wasn't at Fremont, I was over on the sound, I was pretty close to Fremont. I'm going to start out because I know the latitude and longitude of Fremont. It's 47 degrees, 39 minutes north, and then 122 degrees, 20 minutes west. Now, when I say it's west of something, we're talking west of Greenwich. View, if this line was straight, would be our assumed position over here in Fremont, here and uh, I-5 bridge running in Aurora Bridge, actually Aurora Bridge, not I-5, running over the top of us. Um, if we go along a direction of 223 degrees, 22.5 minutes, 
and we go 4.4 miles, we draw a line perpendicular to this line that goes to our, our GP. Now that line heads up northwest, sort of, and goes right past Golden Gardens. So this, so this, what this tells us is that our actual position is somewhere on this line. It doesn't exactly say where. And the way you find out exactly where you are is you would either, on a ship, take a, a fix off of another celestial body. Maybe it's getting towards evening, and you can take one off the moon. Or if it is at night, you can take two stars. And what that'll do is you get two different directions, and you get two different perpendicular lines, and they'll cross right at your actual position. Well, since it was the daytime and it was getting close to raining, I didn't do that. But you can see that once you do get another one, it will cross right by the actual position. Hopefully that gives you a good idea how to do celestial navigation and uh, how to use a sextant. I'm uh, just going to give credit to a couple people here and thanks for watching. Biscuit, Arr. What's that you're holding in your hand there, you little sea sucker? Oh, that's what I was going to ask you about. Uh, you little... Oh, I'm holding the section? No, 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 no. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I was going to ask you about. Do you know anything about how to work the section? Well, the first thing I'll say is, what are you holding in your hand there? Yeah, you right. little slimy scourge, you little sea sucker. <laughs> Doug's sea practicing biscuit. his line. Oh, that was your line? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you little salty fish penis. Slimy sea scurvy. What can I do for you? Right, okay, I understand. Still wouldn't know how to use it. There, you little salty sea sucker. You little sea scourge. That I am, you little sea biscuit. Motor without a boat. Uh, little sea scourge. What can I do for you, you little salty limey? Um, What's that, you little sea biscuit? Uh -oh. <laughs> you little boat without a motor. You little salty sea lice. Sea thing. Are we rolling? Yep. Right now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 